Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Workflowy. So today what I'm going to focus on is how I set up my Zettelcast in, in my Workflowy system so that it can be easier for you to visualize um, and maybe to utilize some of these elements in your own Workflowy. So I'm going to jump into the screen here. And so on a previous video, I showed how I use Zettelcast. And, and this is going to be focused on the setup, but briefly, um, so you can see it in context. Uh, this is my home screen on Workflowy and in my capture log, which is where I journal and log stuff. So most of the stuff that comes into my Workflowy uh, that's uh, specific to a day will, will come into my capture log. Um, so if I have some topic I'm interested, I'll trigger a new Zettle and then I'll fill it in. And in there, I'll create a backlink over to my taxonomy node which is my Zettelcast node. And that concept comes from Aaron Lawson. So over here, I have this group of concepts that I find personally interesting. They're just a part of my life and have been. Um, so it's just an accumulated set of topics that I find interesting. You're going to have your own. So if you were going to set up something like this, I'll create a test node, and I'll jump into that like that was your home screen. And you have a fresh workflowy screen to work with. And so I'll create, you don't have to do it, in a journal, however you kind of create things, it could be an inbox, it, and or you could go directly into your Zettelcast and node. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. And then I'm going to create a a Zettelcast and node. I'm going to turn that into a board. So simply, I'll I'll go ahead and insert my template, and you can make it however you want it. Uh, this is this is mine. You can kind of zoom in on that and see um, I've got a UID um, and so I usually just hit now uh, I've got I'll, I'll tag it in some instances uh, I'll backlink it mostly that's what I'm going to show you today I'll grab the URL or just make a reference to the source any thoughts that I have and then the content itself I'm not going to fill in anything in particular in fact this is my template so I don't want to use that at all um, and then Let's say you're interested in, doesn't really make, make a difference, pie making. But what you'll find is in your workflow, if you really are interested in pie making, there's probably going to be a lot of references to pie making scattered around your workflow. So in order to make it easy to make sure you're going to be able to find this particular node out of all the maybe hundreds or thousands of references to pie making that is currently in your workflow, uh, total node count, I'm going to add, um, I put hashtag TT, we'll make it hashtag ZZ, just something that will isolate it, no, probably no place else, you need to make sure that whatever you use as that, that uh, prepended tag is something that won't be any place else, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a hashtag, that's just how I do it but something that's a specific identifier in it, it is on every single node and something that's easy to type. So maybe I have pie making, hashtag ZZ parenting. Uh, I'll just do one more, hashtag ZC work flowy founders current hairstyle. So, okay, there's your, there's your topic. So you're going to accumulate a specific set of topics that you're interested in um, and then wherever you log you can jump into this node and decide hey there's something on pie making and go directly in it create a new zettelcast and then drop it in there that that would be one way to do it um, since i tend to stay inside of my journal node most of the days that's what it's open to um, uh, today i could put uh, you know at right now and now is not working I think you feel my pain here. Uh, for some reason, the dates are not working. I'm not sure why. Um, that happens occasionally. But anyway, uh, you know, uh, 2, 11, 23 at 11, 43. Uh, if you're going to make a journal entry. Ran across this great recipe for peanut butter pie. 
And then you could trigger a new Zettelkasten. I, I would, you know, you can drop it into here. And then you could go ahead and fill this out, put in the content and, and uh, you know, whatever you want to add to this. But what you do is, um, so peanut butter pie recipe, and then, I don't know if this is going to work, if dates are not working. It is working, okay. Hashtag ZZ pie making. There we go. So now you see a backlink over here. And so whatever's in here will now be present there. And that's it. That's as simple as it is as far as the setup. How I use it, and I've got, I went into greater detail in the other, other one, is a lot of times it's just a specific destination node. Um, and so I know where it is. I used to use tags, and it was always uncomfortable. Uh, and some people will be more comfortable with tagging and having things tagged. And I still do have some stuff tagged. Uh, but the fact that I would have to remember what the tag was and it would have to just come from my head, or I'd have to go find an example of exactly what a tag was, and then I could click on it, and then it would pull up all the references. But I like this better. I like having a, a index kind of catalog of my thoughts, so there's a destination. So I'm the kind of person who likes to have a place for everything and everything in its place. So this would not work as well, say, for my, my wife, who... Uh, is much more kind of artistic and isn't so worried about things being as as uh, very specific as I like to do it. So it's just how I'm made up. So if you're somebody like me, this might work for you. And if you like to have, you know, like like accountants tend to like like rules and like to make sure all the numbers are working out and all the things are following the right rules, and that's what a lot of accountants like about accounting. Um, that just fits my personality. Um, so. And then any place, it doesn't have to be in your journal, um, any place that you want to add something, you can just backlink and hashtag ZZ, and it will pull up that subset. So I don't know if you noticed, but uh, when I did hashtag ZZ, there it is, parenting, pie making, and the workflow we founder's current hairstyle. So if you happen to run across a current picture of Jesse with a funky hairstyle, then you can add that image directly into this. And then you'll just have this growing catalog of, of Jesse's hairstyles. Um, I don't need to know why you want to have a catalog of that. That's not up to me. You can have whatever you want. Um, but that's kind of it. Now, then you have this, you know, let's say that you've been doing this for a year and you have 30 pie recipes. The reason I like this is I know where stuff is. I know where it came from. I know I can even reference when I found it and what was going on around it. I like that because that's how backlink works. Now, if I wanted to come into pie making and actually do some work here, I could jump into pie making and decide I'm going to create a, a recipe book for, re, for release next fall. And then I'll have all of the recipes I've accumulated here but then also it enriches this pie making node um, as I go in and I create a, a, an actual product from uh, the concepts here. And so it kind of en enriches it. So I just like that kind of thing where you're, you're going back and when you, when you go back to something, you enrich it and you kind of play around with it and make it better so that later on when you come back to it, it's in a, a better and better iterative state. So that's just how I, that's how I operate. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, that's, that's how it works. It's pretty simple. Um, I know it doesn't contain some of the components of the classical Zettelkasten methodology um, with cross links. I, you can put cross links in here. In fact, I do. A lot of times I'll put multiple, you know, here where I put pie making. Um, if you actually, actually happen to find something that uh, was Jesse making a pie and he had a kind of a funky hairstyle in that one as well you could you could add that um, here so you can just have multiple backlinks and then it kind of creates a cross reference because you go into that and you see oh this actually backlinks over to pie making so it makes it easy to navigate around with things that have uh, uh, kind of a network effect in the concept so there you go 
that's been working for me for uh you know a, a year year and a half uh and it's uh it's just easy and it works for me at the level that i need it to so i hope that helps